Hello and welcome to our user management webinar. Today we are going to walk through uh, user creation, employee creation, and setting up uh, user option admin records as well as uh, go over the security roles and teams that you can use within. So give me two seconds here. I'm just going to flip screens and then we will jump right into it. All right, so first things first, um, it is important that when you log into this admin portal that you are a global administrator. So you have to make sure that your account is set up as a global administrator, otherwise you will not even have access to this. And first things first, you will have to purchase all of your licensing from our Neosystems management team before you can set any users up. So uh, let's jump right into it. So once you've logged into the admin portal here, uh, we're just going to go straight to add user. So super simple to start. We'll just fill out some information here. Now, if your company has different uh, email addresses, uh, these can all be added uh, into the admin center, and then you'll be able to select the different options here. Now, by default, it would be this itracktrial.onmicrosoft.com. Uh, so for this particular instance, we've added itracktrial.com. So as simple as that. Uh, then password settings, usually um, you would like to create the own password for the purpose of this demo. We're just going to let it auto generate a password. Uh, you can also have it uh, send the password to a certain email address. Now, uh, depending on your company and how you want to do this, you can either have it send out to managers, supervisors, or directly to that employee. So from here, we can just click next. Now the product licenses that I had previously mentioned, all the different licenses that you would have purchased from our management team will show up here. Now, depending on your specific business, uh, there could be up to like 20 plus, uh, or you could have as little as one or two licenses. Now most will probably have a minimum like five or something like that. So for this demo specifically, we're going to assign the Dynamics 365 customer engagement plan license. And from there, we can just click next. Now optional settings, uh, the only time you would ever use this is when you are setting up another global administrator. Now you don't want all of your employees to be global administrators um, because that could wreak havoc on your system if they do something they are not supposed to. So if you needed to add a global administrator, all you would do is come down here and then you can select one of these boxes, but you will very rarely need to do this. And then from there, uh, there's just a review page to make sure that all the information that you've entered is as you would like it. So from here, we can just go finish adding and close this. All right, so after we've created test user two, we're going to add them to a security group. So we'll go to active users here and then select test user two. And from here, we can add them to whichever groups that we need. Now, the use of groups is for uh, in the case that your business, for example, has had different departments uh, with uh, sensitive information, uh, having them have their own instances of dynamics would allow so that uh, only users that are set up within that instance of dynamics can go in and access that specific information. So for this one here, what we're going to do is we're going to just select iTrack demo and save changes. And that is how we are going to add them to this group here. So there is another place you can do that from, and that's just from this groups tab here. And then you could select iTrack demo, 
and go members and then add a member via this control here as well. Now, one thing to note is if you are setting up a global administrator, which would be rare, that uh, that user will have access by default to every single security group. And this is just for administrative purposes. So now that is everything that needs to be completed within the admin portal. So we're gonna hop over to the instance of Dynamics that we want this user to be set up in. So make sure again that you've logged in as that global administrator so that you have the correct permissions to do all of this. So first things first, we're just gonna go here to users and ensure that our test user was correctly added. All right, so after you have added the user to the security group, uh, it should show up in Dynamics. Now we did have to just wait a couple minutes before it showed. Uh, this could probably take up to five minutes here. So now that we know that the user is in Dynamics, we are going to go ahead to the employees. So for that, we're going to select eye track in this top bar here and then go employees. Now, when setting up new employee records, I always like to search for the name of the employee that I will be setting up just to make sure that somebody else didn't already set up an employee record for them um, because you do not want to have duplicates within your system as this can cause other errors. So for now, we're just going to search test user two, and we should have no results pop up, which is perfect. So now that we're on this employee page, we're going to select new in the top corner here. And we're just going to fill out uh, all of this information really quick. All right, so next thing we're going to do is the user that we just created, we are going to link that record to this employee record and we do that via this user field here. So if I just type in test user to hit tab, when you hit tab, if it finds that record, it will show up as blue text. If I were to type something else and there was no user record with that name, then uh, this would show an error. Now this pin that you see here, uh, this is the employee pin and this is used within iTrack where and some of the functionality, for example, if you guys were having a meeting and you needed everybody to show that they attended that meeting, uh, this would be the pin that they enter into iTrack to show that they were there. Now this is separate from the mobile pin, which is how you actually log in to the mobile app for iTrack, and I'll go over that a little bit later in this. So the other things we got to do is we'll just add them to a company, and we'll add them to Neo Systems, and then our Calgary office. And these are required fields. So anything that has a red asterisk, uh, you need to fill in. So for any users that need access to iTrack, whether that is the portal or the mobile app, they all must have a company email attached to their employee record. So for this one, we're just gonna go test user two at itracktrial.com. And yeah, so you just add the company email there. And if you do not have a company email, they will not be able to log into iTrack. All right, so now that we've created this employee record and we have the email attached, uh, after a couple minutes, we, you will see a this pin auto generate. And sometimes it can take again up to five minutes for this to show up. 
Now, if you are on a Dynamics version that is 4.11 or below, so like 4.8, 4.9, 4.10, 4.11, <laughs> when you want to go set up the user options admin record, that is going to be located under settings and then here, user options admin. Now, if you are on a version of Dynamics that is 4.12 or greater, the user options admin record is actually going to be attached to the employee record. So how you would access that normally in 4.12 or greater is you would uh, write this drop down arrow right beside uh, test user two, you would see user options admin within here. Now for the purpose of this demo, for the current environment that we are in, we're going to access user options admin from the settings page here. So these are all of the user, the active user options admin records that we need. So we'll just select new in the top corner here. Now, uh, first things first, we're going to link it to the user that we want this record to be attached to. So for this demo, we're linking it to test user two. Now, this device pin that you see on the user options admin record, this is the mobile pin. So this pin is generated by what is called our mobile connector, which is kind of the intermediary, intermediary between our mobile app and Dynamics. So how it works is uh, all the information or data from the mobile app will get synced into the mobile connector and then the mobile connector will sync with Dynamics and that is how the data is transferred. So this device pin is when you're logging into the mobile app, you will use the email address that is attached to the employee record plus this device pin. So this device pin usually takes uh, up to 20 minutes to actually show up. So I will come back to that uh, closer to the end of this webinar just to show you guys what it looks like. So here uh, there are some different permissions. Now these are all uh, iTrack for the mobile iTrack app. And in here, these are just different sections within the app that you can uh, give your employees permissions to use. So for pretty much every employee, you will always have them uh, allow forms. Now this is the main use of iTrack. Now you can also have them view all the different sections as you would need. So now that we've uh, linked a user and we've allowed forms, we can go ahead and hit save and close. So next we're gonna jump in and do a brief overview of security roles and teams. Now this is all within Dynamics, so how we're going to access that is we're going to go back to the user. So we're just going to select this little drop down here and go back to Dynamics 365. And then we're going to click the drop down, go settings, security, and then from here, uh, there are a few different places you can access it. So you can access security roles here and you can assign them specifically to the users or to teams. You can also go into teams and add security roles and add members within this interface. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, we're just gonna go to the user record and add permissions there. So we'll click there and then open up the test user two record and then in this top little bar here we see manage roles and then join teams so these roles are additive in nature and can be customized for the needs of your business so for example i'll just open up manage roles here so let's say that you needed a training data manager role. So this specific role would give, if you selected it, so let's just find it here. So this training data manager role. 
So if we were to assign this role to this specific user, it would give them access to the training page within iTrack. Now, these roles, as I mentioned before, can also be assigned to teams. So if you were to assign a role to a team, then all members that are a part of that team now have that security role. So that's a very easy way. So for example, if you have like 10 managers, instead of having to go through and set them up, set them all up with the same security permissions, you could just add the you could add those security roles to the team and then just add those members to that team and then they will all automatically get those security roles. Now for all iTrack users, they will either need to have the iTrack user dash manager role or the iTrack user dash employee role. And this is for access to both the portal and the mobile app. So for now, we're just going to select iTrack user employee and we're going to add that role. And then quickly, I'll just show you guys this Teams interface. So you can set up different security teams as I described with different roles and you can add as many members as you please to each of those teams. Uh, now we won't dive much further into this uh, today. So last thing we're going to do is we're just going to head back and view the or see if that mobile pin was generated. So we went back to iTrack there and we're going to go settings, user option admin, and now we're going to double click on our test user too. All right, so it doesn't look like the mobile pin has been generated just yet. So we will wait a couple more minutes uh, for that to happen. But other than that, uh, that was everything that needed to be covered in today's webinar. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to email us at support at neosystems.com or you can reach out to your consultant or our customer success manager. Uh, thank you guys very much for attending and we hope to see you next week.